Channel 5 Network. This is Open Line. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Open Line. Glad you're with us tonight. We have a good discussion. We are talking about uh, certainly something that's been in the news a lot, the worker shortage. Many employers are struggling to fill vacant job positions. Why is that happening? Is it, is it because of the pandemic relief money? Is it because of a sudden shift in, in, in values or some other kind of shift? We, we want to talk about that, address that. Why are workers struggling now to find employees, certainly in the hospitality industry? Happy to have with us TSU economics professor, uh, Dr. Achintia Ray. Dr. Ray, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Today. Thank you for being here in person, not by, via Zoom, so this is good. I love uh, it. Yeah. Yes, I love it. Uh, all right, how severe, what, what, what would you say? What, let's let's kind of set the table. We're hearing about a worker shortage. Is it getting worse, better? How severe is the worker shortage? What are we seeing right now? Well, I think um, you don't have to really do a lot of research to know that we are in a worker shortage situation. I mean. You go everywhere and there is like this help wanted sign, right? Um, and this is not a Nashville issue. I, just a few weeks back, we, take a, we took a trip uh, to Georgia and all the way down to Alabama and Florida to the beach. And every gas station we stopped, every store we went to, every place, there was a help wanted sign. So we are in this situation both locally, regionally, and of course nationally. But, um, you know, just because we are seeing all those signs coming up all around us, that doesn't mean it's a new problem. And that is something that we want to keep in mind, that this has been going on for a long time. In fact, you will be surprised to know that the labor shortage was way worse two years back compared to now. Really? Yep. So if you go back to some of the earlier stories, even you know, to the early part of uh, 2019, uh, there are headlines in Force magazine which was saying that you know, we have 7.5 million job openings and we have like 6.5 million people looking for it. So there were more jobs than workers. Right now, the ratio is close to one-to-one, -one, which is better in that sense. But even before the pandemic started, um, you know, we had more labor shortage in a relative sense, you know, than where we are right now. I wondered about that, and I think maybe we're sensing 